The good news for the Lakers is that they are now up 3-1 in the series. The bad news is the same. However, as the Nuggets have come back from being down 3-1 in each of their previous two series. So, Shannon, who wins game five? Well, Skip, I, I still believe that the Anthony Davis, how, how healthy is he going to be for game five with that ankle? Um, hopefully it's not bad. He did finish the game. He was limping a little bit, but he was able to give them 10 points uh, uh, in, in the fourth quarter. But so if I, I'm saying that he's 80, he's 90%, I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the Lakers. The Lakers understand that the, the precipice of doing something with, you know, one more step to finishing the ultimate walk, which is getting to the NBA final and winning that. Um, but they're going to have to overcome this Nuggets team. The thing that I like most about them is that they don't quit skip. They fight you tooth and nail. I mean, I thought once the uh, the uh, the Lakers stretched it out, they got it up to a nine point lead late in the ball game. Skip, I was like, okay. Whew. And the next day, you know, it's a four point ball game. They will not go away. They're gonna continue to scrap. Mike Malone has got these guys playing hard. Um, I know he's disappointed that he they allowed Dwight to get six offensive rebounds. They let Rondo get two big ones down the stretch. The, he was the smallest man on the court, ending up getting the ball in that situation. So they're gonna have to have play better. The Nuggets will play better in game in game five than they did in game four. Uh, the 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 Lakers will have to match that intensity. That's the thing, Skip. The last game is always the toughest because the team knows if they lose, there is no more tomorrow. So they will have a sense of desperation. They will have a sense of urgency, and the Lakers will need to match that sense of urgency, that sense of desperation. Have no doubt in my mind. Mm. LeBron James going to get a great night's sleep. Mm. He's going to be in that. <clears throat> been that. Mm. Hyperbaric? Yeah, 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 he in there. Have a few glasses of wine, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Time out. Wasn't it Shannon Sharp who on yesterday's show guaranteed Lakers in six? I did. Uh, yes. So what just happened to <laughs> Nuggets winning game five? They just might. Because Nuggets won't they go away. Just might? They just might? Are you going to flip-flop your pick no, on the air? I will. Like see, live? After seeing them what they've done twice, Skip, think about this. In the, what, 50, 60-year history of playoff basketball, no team has ever done in one playoffs what this team has done overcome two, not one, two 3-1 deficits. And one was against, Skip, against the Clippers, 3-1 against the, and, the and reigning remember, finals MVP. Just remember, down 16 in the first closeout, down 19 in the second closeout, and down uh, 12 in the third closeout, and you won all three all to three. win the series. So that lets you know, Skip, they're not going to be easy closeout. They won't go away. And because they've done this twice in the previous that is really fresh because this is not a regular season game where, Skip, you know, we came back from 20 down against the Bulls. We came back from 19 down against Memphis. No, Skip, they did this in the playoff series. In the playoffs. So this will not be easy. But you know what? As much as I want to be right on my pick, I would really rather for the Lakers to go ahead and close this thing out five. Mm. I'll be wrong with this mm. one. So you're predicting you will be wrong and that they will close it out in five. I'm hoping. I'm praying. I picked your Lakers in five to start with, and I'm sticking <laughs> with it. I believe they will put Denver out of its misery fairly quickly in game five. You bad luck, though. I'm good luck. <laughs> and I've been right about all these series. I, I told you what was going to happen all along, and right, right, right. Okay, so here we go again with... You, you, you need to close the. You need to stop these guys in their tracks yeah. right out of the gate. On what are we up to? When will it be? Saturday. Saturday night. Saturday night. Okay. I guess it'll be still at nine ish Eastern. Yeah, it'll be nine. Okay. Yeah. You need to do it quickly and decisively because you do not want to blow this game or you're going to be in trouble. Because if you let them get to three to two, they're going to start thinking we are magic. They thought that when it was two one, they thought they were magic. I know, but now, now it's three one, just like it was, as you point out, against Utah and the Clippers. We Copperfield, David Copperfield, we David Blaine, we snatched the carpet from under you, mm -hmm. and you don't see it. That's us. We Houdini, not you. Okay, but if it gets to three to two, these guys are going to start thinking we got this. We got them right where, where we want them, just like we had Utah and the Clippers. Well, Utah didn't have that. The Clippers definitely don't have that. Mm. But I tell you what we do. We'll swap you Kuzma for Paul George. Mm. 
Okay, you can have that. Well, I'll take Kuzma. Okay. Yep, that's a deal. We'll do that in the offseason. <laughs> I believe your Lakers will win in a cakewalk on uh, tomorrow night on Saturday night. They don't deal with no skip. That's the Nuggets. I, I just think they'll blow them out. They're just better. They're playing at a higher level. They got Dwight on Jokic. They have found the kryptonite for Jokic. He, he will get in his head, get get up into him, get under his skin early. Jokic is, was a disaster last night. He was nowhere to be found. And once Jokic goes on offense, then he plays no defense. So you got a super highway to the basket. You got KCP flying. You, you got Rondo, playoff Rondo, making big appearances at crucial points in the game. You, you, you already predicted to me. You, you said that AD and LeBron could go for 70-plus, which yeah. you thought they would last uh, yeah. night. I will agree with you on this one, and I will not bet against you. They <laughs> both could go 35-plus in mm -hmm. this game. And I think they will because they smell blood, and they smell having a few more days off to get ready for the heat. And this is my prediction about tonight. You know how much I love the heat. Celtics going to win. Celtics will win tonight. They're just too good. They play too good a defense, and they are too proud. They have too much heritage there. They have too much young star power. They're going to rise up and say no to the Heat tonight. So if it, so, when would the finals start? I don't know. Next I, I weekend? Think I think they're just they're, they're not putting it in concrete <laughs> right. yet because they want to see. Right. They'll do it as quickly as they can right. given when the series ends. Probably but, next week. Probably okay. next week sometime. But I believe still that the Heat can do it in six games. I just don't think they can do it in five. So if they do it, it's going to give LeBron and company two or three good days yeah. off because I think if they do If they do it Saturday, I, believe, I don't believe you can start the finals before next Saturday. Skip, yeah. because here's the thing. Let's just say for the sake of argument, it goes seven games with the Lakers. So they play Saturday. That means they will play Saturday, Monday, Wednesday. Are you going to turn around and have the NBA Finals Friday, or would you have it Saturday, Sunday? Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking Saturday at the earliest. They finish this thing off. Now you get a complete week, Skip. Okay, but what I see is that the Lakers will finish off Denver tomorrow night. Right. And then I believe that Sunday night, up against the NFL, obviously, I believe Miami will end Boston. Okay. Okay? So Maybe. then how fast would they turn it around? Yeah, I guess you're right. They probably would, would they turn, turn it around, around to Tuesday or Wednesday? Because they say they want Game 7 to be played on October 17th at the latest. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, that, okay. so I think they would... Those guys have been stuck in the bubble. Yeah. They're all going to push for it. Let's go. Well, hey, right? you been, Skip, you know what? You've been out in the bubble for, what, two months? Mm -hmm. I, think you could got, I think you got two more weeks in you. Okay. And for, for, for that prize, you go, yeah, you, hey, I can do it. So think of what has happened. Think about what the NBA God said. Let there be Bron. Because they gave him five pandemic months oh, off my God. to get ready for this stretch run. That they gave him a 35 and 39 Portland team to start off with. The and, greatest eight seed ever. And Damian got hurt. They were yeah. the worst defensive team in the bubble. Mm -hmm. Then no more Daniel House after it was one to one with Houston. And here come the the cute little Nuggets, who the Clippers obviously didn't take seriously. And and all of a sudden you're going to eliminate them in five games. Yeah. Okay. But I'm trying to figure out. What, hold on, Skip. Why would a mentally a mentally tough team? with the most mentally tough guy in the NBA, Kawhi Leonard, mm -hmm. with a coach.